Yeah, they ain't gonna help us with no light bill. They're gonna be like, oh, y'all make yeah. too much money. But yeah, one time they had to put $1,500 on my light bill. I put no light bill for about almost two years. Damn! Dang, $1,500? $1,500. I told Wayne, I said, you can't get it no better. You I said, you still want to keep the house clean. I got to look for me some new dresses and nightstand. I said, if you ain't going to keep this house, keep this room clean, I said, your ass got to go. What room? Y'all room? Yeah, because I, I like my room. I can't sleep good when my room ain't clean. Yeah. I don't like a dirty room, a dirty house. Hmm? I don't know. Every night I have to wipe my cameras down. Every night. You talking in the kitchen? I don't feel nothing sticky on. You talking in the kitchen? Yep. Yeah, I do that every night and every morning. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know how people can live like that. What, nasty and dirty and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, but they do it. They sure do. I talked to him. Did I talk to camera? I feel like I did. I did briefly. And told him that I, I believe it was somebody calling me. Um, asking me about what happened. Yesterday... It's like twelve hundred dollars for twelve hundred dollars, but it's like a three night stay, three night four day stay. Um, and you, it's like different packages, but it's the Sea World in Florida. Ooh, 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 um, our cousin from Florida, and she's getting cheaper than that. Hell no. Well, she said that she was getting with a travel agent, so we can see because it'll be better if we just do an Airbnb for the kids. Cause trying to be in a hotel room with the kids, they ain't gonna have that much space and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, so it's $1,200 for what? Everybody or just one person? I just got off the phone with my mom and I wanted to show y'all my bathroom downstairs. It is the guest bathroom. I went ahead and repainted the walls and I changed out the decor. Everything was silver to include a silver trash can, but I wanted to show y'all the after. I think I have a clip or some videos of the before, so I will insert those if I do. But if not, I would like to go over everything. So I'm gonna start from the left. Here is a gold trash can. It is automatic. You just wave your hand above it and it closes within five seconds. You have to put four AA batteries in it. So just in case you are thinking about getting this trash can, do not forget to get four AA batteries. This vase and the flower arrangements came from Hobby Lobby. The shelves, which are white, they are called floating shelves. They came from Amazon. The coin perfume banks came from Z Gallery. They did not come in a set of two. I had to purchase them individually. And so I got both of them for $19.95 each and I will link them down below, but they came from Z Gallery. Of course, I just have some stocks of tissue up here on one of the shelves. Over here, down by the toilet, I have a toilet tissue holder. And on the inside, I decided to put some disposable wipes in here. You can put whatever you would like to, but this came from Amazon as well. These Lifty Lou toilet seat handles came from Amazon. I have one for the actual lid and one for the toilet. We all know that a lot of men do not like to let the toilet seat down and we don't like touching other people's toilet or our toilet. So I decided to purchase those, they, they come in a pack of two and you just stick the adhesive on the back of the tab and you press firmly. I have two pictures, they both came from Hobby Lobby between the price of 12 to 15 bucks. Hobby Lobby is always having a 50% off sale so they were fairly, you know, on the not expensive side if you are thinking that they are expensive. Also, this soap dispenser came from Amazon. If you press this button right here, it tells you the temperature in the house and the time. I'm thinking about changing out this silver faucet. I'm gonna keep the mirror the way that it is. Um, and then I plan on changing out the light fixtures to gold. And then last but not least, I have a wallflower here from Bath and Body Works. And that was pretty much it for my bathroom. This is pretty much it for the bathroom. I did a poll on my Instagram stories to ask people if they feel like I should get a rug or not. And majority of everyone said not to. And so I'm just gonna leave it the way that it is. But I will link everything down below if you are interested in purchasing some of the same items. And if you are interested in trying to figure out how to style and decor your bathroom. I'm trying to touch the stakes this time. 2021. 
that show him I can still rap though. On the bench, on the bench. First I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. Run it up. First it was the beamer, now I want the bench. Spending all the back, like here I go again. Outside says the chirp, now the camera phone. Told you I'ma make, keep the channels on. Why you acting different when the camera's on? Why you acting different like your paper long? Eight day wake up and I thank God. Bad decision got you wishing you could say nah. I see the giddy, you could get hit any day now. Nah. On my mama, I'ma move, I finally wait out. With some twenties, fifties, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, zillions. I'm talking Amazon money, talking so much money I could mess around and buy an Amazon. I been winning, I'm like, why me? I heard these labels wanna buy me. I don't need you, boo, I style me. I roll G's and they grind me Now I'm on my game, nothing is the same Who am I to blame? Money made me change Cardi in my ring when I'm switching lanes Money in the carry on, I'm buying planes Money in the carry on, I'm buying planes Now I got a buck for all those rainy days Ain't have a day off in like 80 days I got hustles in like 80 ways Kids if you won't take a lazy day Wife you want me, told me take a break I keep going to the paper street Then it's trips up to Montego Bay I have on a women's vest top in the size of a medium and women's vest shorts in the size of a medium. I have on some Nike socks and some Nike running shoes. I love wearing these shoes when I am on the treadmill. I actually did three miles and I did 500 jumps. I hope y'all can hear me. I am right above a fan and so it is pretty loud. But me and Jaden came to the gym. We got here around 9.30 and we are leaving at 11.30. Today is Wednesday, April 3rd. We will be going to Tropical Cafe after this I have some errands to run I need to do my taxes it's raining the weather is a bit you know bad I was gonna go to the car wash yesterday but it was getting really really late and so I plan on going tomorrow because I'm going to Myrtle Beach I need to pick Phoenix up and I'm gonna take Jaden and his friends to do some things in Myrtle Beach because this week is spring break I also plan on finish painting my entryway and painting our master bathroom and so i'll show y'all some bits and pieces of that I got my brows done yesterday and she did a really good job and so i went around 6 30 it wasn't nobody there i'm lying it was about maybe two or three people there and i feel like when you go when it's not as crowded or as busy they spend more time doing your brows your nails and all of that i did get my i did not get my nails or my toenails done i haven't had my nails and toes done since like january and i'm okay with that because I feel like the past few times I have gotten my nails done and my toes, they have just rushed. And we all know that when we get pedicures, we like to be in the chair, getting our feet and stuff rubbed and just relaxing. And I feel like the past few times they have just been rushing doing that. And so being that I went yesterday to get my brows done and she was very patient. She spent like 15 minutes on my brows. I think I'm gonna go but not get a manicure. I'm gonna just get a pedicure and I'm gonna go when it's kind of like late in the evening. And so instead of going like early in the morning when I first get my day started and it's really, really crowded, I'm going to go like late in the evening. And um, that's pretty much it. I ran three miles on the treadmill. I did 500 jumps and now I'm about to go do like a full body because I haven't done a full body in a while. And so I'm gonna do a full body workout. We are gonna leave at 11.30, go to Tropical Cafe, shower um and start painting and do some errands and i hope y'all continue watching this video let me know what y'all think give this video a thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe hey y'all so the gym was amazing i ran three miles on the treadmill ran slash jog because i did an incline of three nine and then i went all the way up to 11 on the treadmill and when i was doing the incline the speed was 3.5 and then when i was running my speed was between a 6.5 to a 7 for the most part i stayed at a 6.5 while i was running and then towards the end i ended up turning up the speed to seven and then at the very end when I was almost done with running my three miles I did a cool down and I think I was at like 2.95 and I ended the three miles with just doing a cool down and that speed was at a 3.5. I then went into the gym and did 500 jumps. I usually do 1,000, 2,000, but today, being that I did three miles because I usually only do two, I only did 500 jumps today. After that, I went and did shoulders, I did legs, and I also did 
abs last and that was four sets of 25 at 80 pounds. Me and Jaden went to Tropical Cafe. I always use the app to order our food and so when we get there, he basically just go in and pick it up. I got an acai bowl. He got a chicken bacon wrap on flatbread or a chicken bacon flatbed bread wrap. I don't know what it's called. And a peanut butter paradise protein smoothie. I didn't get a drink because I was still sipping on my BCAs and I wanted to make sure that I finished that. And then when I, you know, being that I am home, I just wanna drink as much water as I can. I usually drink three to four bottles of water a day and I know that's not enough, but I am working on drinking more water. So I just got out of the shower and that shower was so amazing. I don't know if y'all know who Dr. Tills is or those products that uh, are by, by Dr. Tills. You can get it from Walmart, Amazon, wherever store you can. I'm pretty sure Dr. Tills is sold everywhere. But every time I get in the shower, I use the Dr. Tills body scrub and then I get out and I spray, spray the sleep spray. Now the sleep spray you can use while you're in the shower. You can use it on your pillows. You can use it like over your body. And what I I do is I usually like just mist it around like this and it smells so good and I also have the sleep balm stick and you just basically screw it off and you can screw it up or whatever and I always use it around my wrist I basically use this on my whole body like I be doing all of this and I also me and my husband both use the Dr. Till's um, essential oils it smells really good we use it in the morning and we use it at night just to keep our skin hydrated because Whew, when I put lotion on, the lotion don't be lasting. I be extremely ashy and I be confused. If y'all are not familiar with Dr. Till's, I recommend it. It's a really good brand. It smells really good, especially when you are in the shower and you're getting ready for bed. Even in the morning when you wake up and you are using Dr. Till's, it just smells so good. It's just so refreshing. I see me put on cocoa butter this morning, but I also put on cocoa butter after I got out of the shower because I always get these dark spots after my cycle and then I noticed that I had a dark spot right here on my neck. Not sure what it came, where it came from. It's definitely not a hickey. But as y'all can see, like my skin um, is discolored from like some scars or dark marks from every time I get a cycle. And I have also, I also use bio oil, which helps with dark scars, stretch marks and stuff as well. And I link this on my uh, Instagram stories if you are interested in purchasing this purchasing this from Amazon I put it on in the morning and at night and I just rub it on my skin and so my skin is looking really greasy but I don't plan on leaving the house um, no time soon so by the time I do leave out of the house some of this will have like dried up and like basically absorbed into my skin and so I will link all of the things from Dr. Teal's down below and the bio oil down below because it's on my Amazon storefront and then last but not least I got this lip gloss from Bath and Body Works and so I'm gonna go downstairs I'm gonna eat my acai bowl I am going to start my workout clothes because I was sweating really bad and every time I come from the gym I always throw my workout clothes in the washer because they be soaking wet to include my washcloth and my towel now I know I told y'all about my eyebrows but I just want to give y'all a close up because she did such an amazing job, okay? And like I was saying earlier, when you don't go during like peak hours and it's really, really busy, they tend to spend more time on like your brows, your nails, um, and your toes. And I think I'm gonna go get a pedicure today. I really wanna finish painting before I go get Phoenix or if I'm not finished painting before I go get Phoenix because he's in Myrtle Beach, then I wanna finish painting before I go back to work on Monday, which is I think April the 8th. But I'm off this whole week for spring break, spending time with my kids. But I'm gonna give y'all a close up of these brows because she did such a good job. Y'all tell me what y'all think. I had went to a place to get my eyebrows done one time before and they were like, oh, you need to go get the microblading. Um, I was like, what? I really didn't pay that lady no attention. But this is what my brows are looking like. I felt like she did a really good job. And I don't know, I'm just obsessed with my brows this time around. And I think it's just because she really spent a lot of time, like she was clipping them, she was plucking them. She um, rubbed some baby oil on my brows and she just did so much. And I have never been on that chair, getting my brows waxed for like 15 minutes. It's like, she took her time with that. And so she did a really good job. 
But like I was telling y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and do these errands, get some painting done. And me and my husband are supposed to go out to eat today. And so um, I recommended that we go out to dinner because we don't have Phoenix and we usually don't get a chance to go nowhere because we always have Phoenix. Well, we do go places, but every time we go, we got Phoenix with us because he's only seven. The older kids, they be coming and going when they feel or whatever the case may be. And so I'm gonna go ahead, eat my acai bowl, and then I'm going to continue with this vlog. So I hope y'all watch until the end. So I just made it back home from getting my pedicure, my massage, dropping my clothes off at the cleaners, but I did not go to get my taxes done. And so I went to um, do my pedicure, which that was really nice. I decided to get blue toenail polish because I always get white. And the reason why I do not get white this time is because I don't have anything planned in the next month or two that will require me to wear heels or sandals. Now, I'm pretty sure it's gonna start getting hot outside, but I wouldn't really say um, it's gonna be hot enough for me to start wearing sandals until like maybe mid-April, the end of April going into May. Um, and at that point, if I decide I need to get my toenail polish changed, then I'll do that. But overall, the services for my pedicure was really good. I then went to the mall and got a deep tissue massage. And when I tell you, I felt like I was screaming on the inside of my head. Y'all know how y'all go get a massage and you relax, you close your eyes, you feel like you're like you end up falling asleep. Those type of massages, I don't really like because I fall asleep and I can't even really remember what it was that I got done. I feel like I end up wasting my money and those massages be like 150 and up. Um, because I end up getting like other services other than just the massage. I end up getting like a facial and all of that. So I decided to get a deep tissue massage and whew, when I say I was screaming in my head, I was just like, oh my God, I can't breathe. It hurts really bad. But deep tissue massage has a lot of benefits. And then I went to the gym this morning. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just stick through it. I only had to pay $25 and it was worth it. I would say I would give them a 3.5 and here's why. And so after uh, the guy came and told me to go ahead and sit in the chair, he did not wash his hands. He went from one client from giving them a massage straight to telling me to come, you know, have a seat face forward and he started massaging me. So I felt like that was not good. And then another thing that I did not like is that um, they had other people who had children there getting massages and the parents, I guess this is not their fault but like two parents had their kids there and they were like on tablets and stuff and it was just the volume of what they was watching was a little loud and the place is more so on the calm meditation type side it was playing music like soft rain type music they had a, a mist or whatever going and so it kind of threw off the vibes and so i feel like if you're in a place like that it's okay to have children but i feel like the noise and stuff needs to be limited or either they need to say no kids allowed nothing against y'all parents or whatever we're bringing y'all kids because y'all want to get a massage but my experience being there and having kids and them playing their their youtube videos or whatever and the bond was loud i i couldn't overall enjoy my service and then when he got to my hands, the only thing that I kept thinking about is the fact that he did not wash his hands. And so he, his, in regards to his hands, he was putting lotion on his hands and it felt like from him rubbing my fingers and pulling my fingers and trying to massage my fingers, like my hands and my skin was getting dry. But when he went to my neck and stuff, he was using oil. So I'm like, why couldn't you just use oil on my hands? Like my hands is basically like the same texture or skin <laughs> as my neck. And so rubbing oil on my neck to then go rub lotion on my hands, it was just like throwing me off a little bit. But I'm not gonna complain overall. Um, that's the reason why I'm giving them a 3.5. The next time I will make an appointment though, because I had to wait like 15 minutes 
after I left from getting my deep tissue massage, I went to the cleaners, dropped off my uniforms, and then I looked at the time and I was like, man, it's 5.30. I'm pretty sure H&R Block is closed. And so if I don't go do my taxes tomorrow, I'm gonna do them on Friday. But that's pretty much the gist of my day. I felt very productive and I hope y'all are too or having a productive day and week and y'all did some things with y'all kids as far as like spring break. Jaden will not let going to Myrtle Beach go. And so even though I really don't want to go because I had to drive two and a half hours to Carowinds and back, I don't want to drive two and a half hours to Myrtle Beach and back. I just... I'm tired, I'm exhausted, but it is spring break. And so I'm gonna try to do that to, you know, get some more time in with him as far as like spending time with him while, you know, they're out of school for spring break. Me and my husband still supposed to go eat tonight. Um, he's on the phone talking to his mom and all of that. So hopefully, I already know where we are gonna go. So I know the food is gonna be good. And I don't think I'm gonna get to painting today. I have the paint right here, y'all, sitting on the counter. I am still going to try to paint when we come back from the restaurant, depending on like how late it is and how dark it is or whatever. I know I can probably, uh, I know I can probably turn the lights on and stuff in the hallway to brighten it up a little bit because I do want to get finished painting. But um, if I decide to go to Myrtle Beach tomorrow, I kind of want to lay down kind of early and get into bed so I won't be tired driving to Myrtle Beach tomorrow. But that's pretty much it for the rest of my day. I'm not sure if I'm gonna close this vlog out now or show y'all like the paint as far as like, you know, how much I accomplished and all of that. But I did show y'all the bathroom and how that turned out. Again, I will link everything down below. I will also link down the oil that I use on my face and the lip gloss that I use from Bath & Body Works. And because again, I don't know if I'm gonna close out this vlog, but keep watching. Got me obsessed, got me obsessed, got me obsessed You're getting better with the times. Looking on your herbs, tasting like some fine wine. X broke your heart, you can hear that through a mind. Nick be calling, but you never. Hey, everybody, what's up? Today is Thursday, April the 4th. And this morning, I got up super, super early because I had to go get some labs. And if you are watching this and you are in the military, y'all already know that when y'all go get labs, y'all don't even know what y'all are going to get. And so I went to labs. I had to wait like maybe 10 minutes for them to call my number back. I went to the back and she was like hey you're here to get HIV you're here to do a urine you're here to do this 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 and I was just like okay because being in the military they draw our blood and they say so many things for why we have to give blood and the only thing that I can ever remember that sits with me is HIV getting my blood drawn for HIV and so all the other 15 bottles that she had to use to draw my blood I have no clue what they were for I don't even know why I had to give a urine sample um but I went and got a pap smear in January um I had an appointment in March and then based off my appointment in March doing a follow-up with like my skin trying to figure out like what creams and stuff to use because I was telling the doctor that every time I get a cycle my face breaks out and I have like these dark spots and so I didn't even know that she had put labs in for me but I went and got my labs done this morning and then I went to the car wash because I had been talking about going to the car wash for the past two days but it had been raining I also went to Walgreens to get my prescription refilled for my topical solution for my edges um, if you have been following me y'all know that I have traction alopecia and so I had to go get a refill on that um, and then I went and got some gas because we did come to Myrtle Beach and so we are here right now I let the boys out they're doing their own thing I am at Cozy Mason I'm gonna go inside get some ice cream and then I want to go to Sephora's because I want to get the new Jackie Anna I am her perfume and then I also want to look for some picture frames because I ordered some pictures from off of Amazon but it didn't come with a frame I did actually start painting last night and I didn't want to come to Myrtle Beach today because I want to finish I wanted to finish painting but I was like, the boys said they wanted to come in spring break. I said I was going to bring them. Jaden actually drove us here and he did pretty good up until the end. The traffic in Myrtle Beach is really, really bad. Um, but towards the end, you know, he started getting reckless with switching lanes and not putting on his signal light and all of that. And it was just too much. I was starting to get anxiety. Just wanted to let y'all know really fast that I have just been vlogging without doing no makeup, not really doing too much to my locks. 
thoughts because I am not tired of trying to keep up, but I know like that I am beautiful. Like I know that my skin, regardless of the spots and the dark marks or whatever, I know that I am pretty. Like I know that I know how to dress and put myself together. I know that I have days when I where I make, wear makeup and I know I can look cute. But this entire vlog, I have been like bare faced, um, just showing y'all the raw and real me. And also, I was in like a slump last week. Uh, I didn't really post any much because I was just getting so irritated with like every time I clicked on somebody Instagram profile like they had all of these views like a million views every single person over 200k followers and I'm just like you're posting makeup videos you're posting I, I mean nothing I'm not taking away from a content creator I'm just saying like it makes people who create content who upload TikToks and reels it makes them feel kind of bad and beat themselves up about what they feel like they might not be doing right because they're not getting the same recognition even though that they know they are putting forth a lot of effort and energy and creating the reels and the TikToks and the YouTube shorts um and so I was like criticizing myself a lot last week and so this week i've just taken the time to be barefaced i'm on leave i wanted to get some things accomplished around the house run some errands and all of that and so i am here in Myrtle beach and i'm gonna take care of some business let the boys have a good time phoenix hair appointment is tomorrow and i know i mentioned earlier that i would try to show y'all um and so i will because this appointment is tomorrow and i also said earlier i was going to close out this vlog but as y'all can see i did not today is thursday and phoenix get his hair done tomorrow friday we also have plans to go to hanging rock um and close out the spring break with the kids on saturday and then just relax and recoup and regroup on sunday so i really appreciate y'all rocking with me i know y'all probably are not here judging me um so i really appreciate it so much thank y'all so much for subscribing taking the time to watch this video i really appreciate it now i'm gonna go in here and get some ice cream and i'll let y'all know how it was Hey y'all, so today is Friday, April the 5th. It is 12 o'clock and we are here to get Phoenix Locks retwisted. And so I'm gonna show y'all how it turns out after. And I also plan on get, going to get our taxes done today and I need to take Jaden to the bank. And for the rest of the day, I'm going to be painting and that's pretty much it for Friday. But I told y'all that I would show y'all Phoenix hair on the back end of this video. And so here goes. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned so y'all can see what the final look looks like. And I will link the stylist down below. She is on Instagram and she's really quick and really fast. I give her a five star. Are you So Phoenix got his hair done. It came out looking really nice. And then we came over to Sweet Frog. I'll give y'all like a 360, but he took off running to go throw some paper towels in the trash. This is how it turned out. 